Hi, this is Amy Prendergast, and this is your introduction to searching the ACM Digital Library. You may remember from our guide to the um, University the Marks Library homepage that the best way to find a database that you know the name of is to go to our databases any reference page. So we'll do that. And these databases are in alphabetical order by title, and since it starts with an A, it'll be right near the top. So here's here we are, ACM Digital Library. So we'll click there. Now we need to log in with our user ID, which is our JAG number, and our password, which is our JAGnet password. And submit. And here we are at the ACM Digital Library homepage. And let me get rid of that. So we can enter our search on their um, basic search box there. So let's just start here. So we're going to continue with our search from um, that we started in one search with um, history of computing and Alan Turing. So we'll put in our search terms there. And once again, it, it assumes an and. It assumes you're searching history and computing or history, historical histories or computing and computers, whatever. Um, so we'll click enter. And here is our results results, and you see it's a huge set of search results because, of course, since it's a computing database, most or all of the records can have the word computing. So we definitely want to narrow this down. So um, one way we can do that is to add in our, um, our Alan Turing uh, part of our search. So we're going to click on Edit Search, and it transfers our, um, our original search into the first search box, and then we can add a new search box. Actually, we can add as many as we want. And we'll put in our second term, Alan Turing. And once again, it assumes a, a, an and in between these two search boxes. And then we're also going to limit by date, like we did in one search by the last 10 years. So we're going to select January 2010 and December of 2020. And the reason we do that is to pick up any um, preprints or um, early publications that, that may be in the database. And now we're going to click Search. Okay. Oh, so now we're down to 7,570 results, which is still a lot, but it's a lot better than 500,000 some. So, but we de we're definitely probably going to want to limit it a little bit further. But before we do that, let me just point out some of the um, uh, materials available here. Um, in addition to the results, which are going to be mostly um, journal articles and um, probably proceedings, conference proceeding articles, we also have some videos. So if you click there, you can see some videos that this search pulled up. And this might be helpful to you um, at some point. Um, and you can either look at them by um, playing them in the browser or downloading them to your computer. So let's just go back to the rest of the results. And now let's say, remember when we um, limited to um, peer-reviewed articles in OneSearch? Well, a similar thing here might be to limit by research article. And we can do that by looking under Publications, Content Type, and choosing Research Article. And so now we'll be down to 5,000 some. Um, so we've limited it still further. So um, at this point, if you were doing your own search, um, you might want to go back to the edit search and add in another term. Remember, when you're using and, the more terms you add in, the more limited your search will be. So um, but, but, well, I, I just want to show you a couple more things on the, the search results page. So uh, these are all research articles. Um, you know, if you want to look at the full text for any of these, you can look at, um, click this uh, icon to go to the magazine site and see the HTML version of the article. Um, you can download it, the PDF, by clicking on this icon. Um, you might want to um, check out some of these before you take the time to um, call it up or, or download it. And you can do that by using this little feature called Highlights. And if you click there, it'll give you a, um, a short abstract of the article and also some highlights from the full text and the subjects. So you might want to do that before you um, start downloading articles. Well, that is a, um, a quick introduction to ACM Digital Library. And um, please contact me through WebRef or through my own email address, aprinder at southalabama.edu, if you need any help um, or you have any questions about this or any of our other videos.